Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered. So there's a lot of mess going on right now on social media. If you guys don't know, Jimmy Kimmel has been gone for months. He needed some rest. He needed some much needed vacation time. And I'm not mad at him, honey, because every now and then we do have to break away from social media. We do need to break away from our jobs. We need to think about our mental health. You know, you know what I'm saying? Just woosa a bit. You know what I'm saying? Breathe a bit and just let the stressors of the world go. So Jimmy Kimmel, honey, you know, he's been gone for about damn near three months. So everybody named Mama, except for Lovely T, been hosting the Jimmy Kimmel show. Like Wanda Sykes, Stephen A. Smith, Arsenio Hall, um, Nick Crow, Julia Bowen. There's been a lot of guest hosts that have filled his spot while he's gone. So he decided to come back yesterday. And he's causing some controversy because he basically is saying that unvaccinated people should not get ICU beds. So that is causing a lot of controversy right now. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the clip. Go ahead and check this out. From a year ago, Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices about who gets an ICU bed. That choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're... That's... I mean, we... All right, so you guys just heard what Jimmy Kimmel had to say. So I want to kind of rewind it back. The reason why he's talking about this and even saying what he's saying is because there's all this controversy about ivermectin. And I didn't really want to go there during my live stream yesterday just because y'all know, hoodie, YouTube be tripping. They be demonetizing people, all that stuff. But on the podcast, I can go there. So ivermectin is basically a horse to warmer. And what happened, the reason why this even got into the American lexicon as of now is because of good old Joe Rogan. So Joe Rogan put it out there that basically ivermectin has helped him because he caught COVID. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this news clip because the whole Joe Rogan situation has caused a lot of controversy as well. So y'all go ahead and check this out. He's been one of the loudest COVID vaccine skeptics. It's a completely new kind of vaccine. The idea that people shouldn't be skeptical or nervous about that is kind of hilarious. Now this morning, Joe Rogan, the mega popular podcaster and UFC commentator, says he tested positive for COVID. I got fevers and sweats and I knew what was going on. Telling fans on Instagram he got back from taking his show on the road Saturday night. Reportedly, he was in Florida, where COVID cases are setting records. It's unclear whether the 54-year-old has been vaccinated. Rogan also sharing with his over 13 million followers that he's taking the drug ivermectin, meant to treat parasites and worms in horses and other animals. We immediately threw the kitchen sink at it. All kinds of meds, monoclonal antibodies, uh, ivermectin. Despite being unproven as a COVID treatment and dangerous for humans in high doses, ivermectin has received a recent boost from online misinformation, prompting warnings from the FDA and other health officials. The FDA tweeting last month, you are not a horse, you are not a cow. Serious, y'all. Stop it. With millions of listeners and a $100 million licensing deal with Spotify, Rogan has influence, setting off a firestorm earlier this year, suggesting healthy younger people didn't need the vaccine. If you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, like I don't think you need to worry about this. Savannah asked Dr. Anthony Fauci for his take on Rogan's comments. Well, that's incorrect, Savannah. Young, healthy people should get vaccinated. Absolutely. Vaccine proponent Prince Harry, who also has an exclusive deal with Spotify, took Rogan to task. Stay out of it. If you have a platform, with a a platform comes responsibility. Rogan quickly responded to the backlash. I'm not not an anti-vax person. I'm not a doctor. I'm a f***ing moron. And I'm a cage-fighting commentator. I'm not a respected source of information, even for me. 
No argument there. Doctors <laughs> warn people can overdose on the drug and experience a slew of ills, such as nausea, even death. Rogan thanked modern medicine for pulling him out of it so quickly and easily. And he says he's been getting better every day since Sunday. All right. So you guys just heard that news clip. So like I said, a lot of people were really knocking Joe Rogan for talking about ivermectin. And, you know, Joe Rogan said it's helped him out. And so this caused a uptick this past weekend of people ending up in the emergency room because they were taking ivermectin, you know, horse the warmer and they were getting sick. And they were supposedly saying that it was so bad that in certain states they couldn't even treat gunshot victims because they had to treat all these ivermectin cases. It was insane. So in Oklahoma, a few doctors came out and they're claiming that ivermectin is causing overdoses in Oklahoma ERs. So this is from people taking, um, I guess, the PACE formula. And the PACE formula is meant for horses. So a lot of people are getting sick and I guess overdosing from it. Um, but then it was insane because over the weekend, Tim for a weekend and a few other people have posted a video of Alex Jones literally going crazy on Twitter where he's taking ivermectin, but I guess he has the pill form, which is, you know, for humans. So I want y'all to go ahead and check this out real quick. Here are people. Overhead shot, please. You know what this is? This is ivermectin for humans that won a Nobel Prize as an antiviral. And this is inhalable, or these are the tablet steroids. So let me show you. I was going to do this anyways earlier. See this? See this, Fauci? You see this, Bill Gates? I'm going to kill those prions, you bastard murderers. You're going to hit me with a bioweapon, you monster. You want to suppress me? You want to kill me, you son of a bitch? You goddamn demon? You think I'm easy to kill? Think I'm going to roll over to your crap? No. And Joe Rogan kicked your murdering ass, too. You'd love to bury him, too, you little monster maggot. He's in this National Geographic piece about, oh, I don't usually deal with my enemies right away. I get them later. Yeah, you creep up on with a poison injection, dressed up in a lab coat, you little Joseph Mingala, Nuremberg code violating monster. You damn monster. See our little cancer proteins like that. Nobel Prize winning for humans. 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 What, 2005? Nobel Prize winning for humans. Oh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. He, he went and to drink the horse pace. He's stupid. I bet he got it from Alex Jones. They're both so dumb. They're both going to be dead. Yeah, that's why Joe's worth like $300 million. Yeah, he's real stupid. That's why he lives in a $60 million house on the river. You left this taking all the shots and dying are the dumbasses. He's the one that headlines with Dave Chappelle. Not you. You're stupid. And I sure wish you'd wake up. But you sit there calling me stupid, an independent media person that built the biggest independent media operation in the world that changed the whole paradigm with my badass listeners. And you sit around and laugh at us. Medical doctors gave that to me. It is incredible. It helped my family. It helped me. It helped everybody. And it's approved for humans for all sorts of viral stuff. But that murderer Fauci doesn't want you to know because he wants the planet for himself and he wants you dead. Well, guess what, Fauci? We ain't rolling over and dying so easily, you little murderer. All right. So you guys just heard Alex Jones's rant. And, you know, Alex Jones, honey, he's a comedian in his own light, even though he don't think he is. You know, just some of his antics make me laugh. OK, but I will say this. The whole situation is very, very scary because you have a lot of people. There is a lot of misinformation out there. You have people jumping on any bandwagon and it's like, why are y'all taking things to prevent something that you don't even have and may not have even been exposed to? It doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Vaccine aside, I don't care if you want to be vaccinated, don't want to be vaccinated, but why go and take ivermectin when you haven't even been diagnosed with anything. Most of these people have not even been diagnosed with COVID. So why are we taking horse to warmer? I don't care if it's a paste or a pill. I'm not taking shit to cure nothing that I haven't been diagnosed with. That should just be common sense. So, you know, I get the frustration and I get people being scared. But I think at this point, we need to stop living in fear and people need to use common sense. You know what I'm saying? If you're scared, put on a mask, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. Things like that. But I also don't like this whole talk of 
if you're not vaccinated, you don't deserve ER treatment. I don't like that narrative that Jimmy Kimmel is spinning. And I'm seeing a lot of people repeating that on social media, even before he said it. I was seeing people write this on Reddit and on social media. You guys heard his audience clapping. How is that okay? Vaccination or not, millions of people pay health insurance and they pay hundreds of dollars per month. If I have health insurance and I'm having a medical emergency, I'm going to the ER and I better get treatment, point blank, period. If that is the logic that we're going to use and say that if you're unvaccinated, you shouldn't get treatment, well then, okay, let's say you're morbidly obese. You shouldn't be eating all them damn donuts and all all them damn good cookies. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.